The Unthinkable End. Joan and Doyle's horror encounter with the ghouls. Doyle and Joan had just moved into their new home in a quiet, suburban neighborhood. It was a dream come true for the couple, who had been searching for their ideal home for months. The house was perfect, with a cozy porch, a large backyard, and plenty of space for a family. At first, everything was going great. The couple grew closer as they worked to make the house their own. They decorated and landscaped the yard and put in a new kitchen. Over the space of a few weeks, Doyle and Joan had transformed the house into a true home. Their idyllic existence, however, was soon to be disrupted by an unexpected event. One night, as they were settling into their new home, they heard strange noises outside. It sounded like chanting and low growling. Doyle and Joan were both terrified, but curiosity got the better of them. Doyle grabbed a flashlight from the kitchen and peered out into the darkness. What he saw made his blood freeze. There, in the darkness, stood ghouls. The feral creatures were slinking around their property, chanting and growling. Joan, who was standing behind Doyle, could feel her heart hammering in her chest. They quickly shut the curtains and hid in the corner of their living room. Doyle remembered hearing stories about ghouls when he was a child and knew that the creatures were known for preying on humans and eating them alive. He and Joan stayed in the corner of the room until morning, when the ghouls left. For the next few weeks, the couple stayed inside their home, too scared to go outside. They had no idea what to do or how to protect themselves from the ghouls. Then, one night, they heard a knock at their door. It was a woman dressed in a long, dark cloak. She said her name was Sarah and that she had a way to keep the ghouls away. She told them that she was part of a secret society that practiced a form of magic. She could cast spells to keep the ghouls away, but only if Doyle and Joan agreed to pay her for it. Doyle and Joan were hesitant at first, but eventually, they agreed. Sarah cast her spells and the ghouls left their property. Doyle and Joan were relieved, but happiness quickly turned to horror. Days later, Sarah returned with an ultimatum. If they wanted to stay safe from the ghouls, they would have to pay her a large sum of money. If they did not, she would return with her spells reversed, sending the ghouls straight for them. The couple was desperate. They knew the ghouls were too powerful for them to fight off on their own. In the end, they had no choice but to agree to Sarah's demands. For months, they paid her an ever-increasing amount of money to keep the ghouls away. After a year of this, they had nearly reached their limit. Luckily, they had been able to save enough money to pay off Sarah's demands. That is, until the day she never came back. They waited and hoped that she had simply decided to move on. But then, one night, the chanting and growling returned. Joan and Doyle knew exactly what it meant, the ghouls were coming. The ghouls entered the home and surrounded the couple, growling and snarling. Doyle and Joan screamed for help, but none came. The ghouls attacked and killed them both, and their corpses were never found. The ghouls were never seen again, but their fate had been sealed, and so had the fate of Doyle and Joan. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.